Alright, I picked up a figure at my local comic shop today, and it is Carter from uh, Halo Reach uh, Play Arts Kai. And, um, didn't plan on getting uh, this at all, because uh, my comic shop never did get the, the first set, the first three, and uh, I figure I lucked out, because uh, they didn't get them, so I didn't, I wouldn't buy them, because uh, out, out there at the interweb they're selling it for 50 and above so but I got this at 45 out the door so that's kind of cool but now it opened up a can of worms which means that I might have to get the rest but I don't know that's, that's why I'm starting out with this one see if I like it if not then I will skip the rest of these but here's what the back of the packaging looks like and here's a closer look at the back of the box as you can see Shows a picture, uh, a couple of pictures of the figure. And then the rest of the line, we have George and Cat. Saw both of these at my comic shop as well, but uh, gonna try it out Carter first, and uh, if, if uh, I like it, then maybe I'll get the rest, I don't know. Alright, and uh, there seems to be an instruction as to how you would want to remove the, the hands. And also the knife, and how do you how you uh, peg the the DMR onto its back? And here is the figure itself. Carter comes out of the box just like that, with a DMR, two trigger hands, and a grenade. And here's a closer look at the figure, and a uh, head is on a ball joint. Shoulders are ball hinge, and then it also uh, it could uh, shift uh, forward and back a little bit. And then there's a, a chest articulation, and then the hips it could also uh, pivot forward and back a little bit. And the legs are on ball joint, uh, knees are see how they double jointed. Yes, they are double jointed knees, and then there's a ball hinge on the on the ankles and the wrists are ball hinged. Same thing for the wrist. And let's get a detailed look at the f head's skull and the paint job as well too. This is way better, way better than McFarlane stuff. But it costs uh, three times, four, four times as much. Here's the little knife, and here's what the knife looks like. Removed from the sheath. This is a uh, pouches in front. There's this uh, shoulder pad. One of them. Here's the other one, the huge one. This one's on a ball joint. The big one is on a ball joint. And here's this uh, little comm unit. Let's look at the back side. There's a UNSC logo. I'll try and go there. Back of his head. Let's take a look at that. Antenna thingy. Here's his uh, pouch. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice. The rest of the paint job looks spectacular. Alright, and here's Carter holding his DMR. Give him a little pose. And, uh, not, uh, he can hold the DMR, but not perfectly. I mean, you see his fingers, he does have a trigger finger and uh, the rest of the fingers does um, fit underneath um, the little piece there. I mean they're, they're all uh, holding nicely but you do see a gap in between so it is being blocked a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. But here's the pose. 
kind of cool. And here's what I mean. Uh, his thumb is not really staying uh, um, on the back of the pistol grip uh, very snugly. And uh, it is being blocked by the back piece a little bit. But uh, overall, he can hold the DMR. And uh, all the fingers are within the bottom of the pistol grip. They're all s sitting in there. But uh, it's just that uh, the thumb is just a little bit off. I mean, if it could sit snugly, if it uh, perfectly um, around the, the pistol grip, I would have liked it a little bit more. But here's a detailed look at the, the DMR itself. It uh, has a peg on it, which uh, you can peg it onto its back. It's a really nice looking DMR. Uh, there's, uh, they didn't color in the scope at all. So, and uh, when he's holding it, and he's holding it uh, um, close to him, uh, these pouches are blocking it, making it kind of weird for him to hold a DMR close to his chest, because they are being blocked by these pouches. And uh, he can do poses like these, because uh, the joints, um, they are really, uh, they are ratchet joints, and uh, they could m actually move really close. It kind of works like a double jointed uh, elbow in a way. That's why you get him to hold oh, his weapon so close. And uh, with the shoulder uh, shoulder blade joint, where you can pivot forward and back, and that is another reason why he could hold um, it's a DMR with uh, two hands, which is really cool. Hmm. All right, here's a size comparison between the uh, Playoff Kite and the McFarlane figures. And as you can see, the McFarlane figures are a tad bit darker than the Playoff Kai version. And um, I have seen the, the cat, well, I compared the cat and the Carter together. And uh, the Playoff Kai cat is pretty much the same color as the Playoff Kai uh, Carter here. So that's, I don't know if that's the right color or not, but uh, to me, Cotter is supposed to be a darker shade of blue than what he has right now. But yep, this is the size comparison. And uh, yeah, uh, would I get the rest of these, these figures? I don't know. Um, I have to play with this a little bit more, but I'm aiming towards it now. Oh my god. And uh, hopefully I could find some of these at WonderCon for cheaper. But if not, then I am stuck with paying 45 at least for George and um, Kat. And who knows how much I'll have to pay for uh, June and uh, Emil. I might not even get number 6. I don't know. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.